Okay, on the Chalupa Lovers, welcome to Splayer Go Test Our Attack at Georgie. The 17 year old center attack, he made it to say 69 overall. Nice. So, three star skimmos and two star weak foots. Physically, 77 acceleration, 75 sprint speed, and 75 agility from a start. But those three attributes are going to get tons of growth here without training. Then 70 balance, 68 jumping, 58 stamina, and 46 strength. And mentally, stands as a 72 composure, 62 attack position, and 68 vision. Now moving on to those technical attributes, 74 ball control, and 76 dribbling. So very good dribbler from the start. Then 61 crossing, 56 finishing. Definitely needs some work there. Uh, then 66 long pass, and 69 short pass. Shot power, long shots in those lower 60s, along with 56 volleys and 60 curve. But those long shots are definitely going to improve a lot without training, also, as you'll see. So he's six foot, right footed, high medium work rates, two star weak foot, and three star skim. So definitely a bit of a taller midfielder uh, or center attacking mid, but he has pretty good balance from the start, and his agility is going to be very good. So I think it's not going to be a, an issue for people who do prefer those kind of shorter players. He's going to feel pretty good on the ball still, uh, as he gets some really good improvement here. At the in that first season, the acceleration up by four, then sprint speed and agility up by five points. You can see right away those three attributes I singled out before are getting some very good growth right away. And technically, long pass up by seven stands out along with a plus two the ball control, dribbling and short pass, and a plus four to his crossing and finishing. Long shots up by five and shot power up by three points. So now 74 overall at age 19. The pace, the acceleration, sprint speed improving by four points. They're very good improvements again. And some plus ones attack position, vision, and strength. Now technically uh, the, the dribbling up by three, finishing up by six. Nice to see that ball control, long pass up by two, a plus three, the short pass, and long shots improving again there with a plus six. So very good improvements all around there tactically. It's now up to 77 overall at age 20. More growth to the pace and agility. Plus three, the acceleration, sprint speed up by two, agility up by four. Then mentally, you can see a bit of growth with attack position, vision, some of the other areas. Technically, uh, just kind of plus twos, plus ones for the most part, but long pass and long shots up by four points, and a plus three to short pass were the best growth to those tactical attributes in that season. So now, 79 overall at age 21. Those three attributes, again, continue to improve so well, so steadily. Every year, it's been at least like a plus two for the most part, just a plus one, the sprint speed that season but still very good growth technically um, plus two to the crossing dribbling uh, then short pass up by three to hit the 80 mark so 80 passing then also 84 ball control at the moment and uh, then long shots up to the 81 so 81 overall now uh, at age 22 looking very good with the growth again to those three attributes of um, pace improving by four agility up by three now does have that speed to specialty and definitely could have the acrobat specialty as well so technically uh, more good improvements here long pass though up by six points as it's a kind of a key area for technical growth a center attacking mids is that long pass attribute I've noticed uh, throughout this FIFA so uh, it's an 83 overall now at age 23 just about to hit that potential. A big plus 7-2 is agility. So acceleration up by 3 to get to the 97. So definitely can max out an acceleration agility. We'll see if that does happen. And technically some more very good growth to the passing stats. Ball control up by 2 and finishing up by 3 to get to the 76. So definitely a lot better than where he was at the start. Because he's a pretty poor finisher. But now he's a decent one. Uh, kind of Maybe a little bit like above average or so. But uh, 85 overall at age 24. Hitting that potential. Again 3 star skimmos and two-star weak fits not the best with that with that but uh he's a very good physical player you can see here ends up maxing out in the acceleration and the agility so 99 in those two attributes and 95 sprint speed 74 balance 71 jumping 67 stamina and 50 strength and mentally 74 composure 72 attack position and 76 vision so like i said before it's gonna feel pretty good on the ball because he has such high agility and decent balance despite being six foot he's not going to be a very clumsy uh, tall player like i've seen a lot in the past but 90 ball control, 71 crossing, 89 dribbling, 79 finishing, 92 long pass, 86 short pass, and 84 long shots. Uh, you can see shot power, volleys curve, all in those mid to upper 60s there also. So he's 76 as a striker, 82 as a center forward, 85 as a winger, 84 as a right mid, and 79 as a center mid. So definitely could play out wide for you if you'd like to put him in those roles also. Maybe drop a little bit deeper as a center mid on occasion. So again, he's 6 foot, right foot, high medium work rates. 2-star weak foot and 3-star skin was ends up with the speedster and the acrobat specialty. So those two specialties definitely show how good he is physically. And the growth of each individual attribute you can see here also with the crossing improving by 10, finishing up by 23, a plus 17 to a short pass, 
dribbling up by 13, long pass up by 26, so definitely one of the higher growth in stats, if not the highest. Looks like it is the highest, actually. Then ball control up by 16, acceleration up by 22, sprint speed up by 20, agility up by 24, then a plus 7 to his re reactions, a balance up by 4, stamina up by 9, and long shots uh, growth uh, went up by 21, so very good growth there also. Positioning, proving by 10 points, vision up by 8 points. You can see a little bit of growth to those defending stats also, so ends up being a very good tactical player, a very good passer, dribbler, not too bad of a finisher and crosser either, but of course what stands out is that pace and that agility. He's six foot and you know he's not gonna be a clumsy six footer because he at least has a decent balance. I think balance really does have an effect, especially with those taller players. They won't be falling over and everything, uh, which is I've definitely seen a lot uh, with those clumsier taller players uh, who may still have you know decent attributes physically, but uh, that when that balance is low, that can definitely uh, be an issue and all that. So with that, thank you for tuning in, my beautiful Chalupa lovers. I love you all. Hope you've had a great weekend. I'll be signing out now, and I'll catch you guys later.